The Democratic Republic of Congo DRC and former Liz Bayer has a history that's difficult to take in. From the mismanagement of Belgium's King Leopold, to the corrupt leader Miyutu Seisei Seiko, to the battlegrounds of Africa's horrific world war, the country has experienced long periods of instability. But the second largest African nation is staging a comeback and by most accounts, is headed in direction. There are regularly travel advisories for DRC, but during times of stability, there is a magic wilderness to explore here. The country is covered in UNESCO-designated national parks. They've got active volcanoes, raging rivers, and all the wildlife you expect of Africa. Caution is needed but the DRC is the literal and figurative heart of Africa. Let's have a look at the best places to visit in Congo. The capital city of the Democratic Republic of Congo, as well as one of the 11 provinces, is Kinshasa. It's chaotic and buzzing with energy and really huge with over 10 million residents. Established, colorful and intense and loads of fun. There is a great street art culture here and if you sit in one of the small cafes off the 30 Juin Boulevard, the artists will come up and show you their pieces for sale. It's a great way to talk to locals and relax. Lola Yabonobo is a sanctuary for orphaned bonobos and one of the most popular tourist attractions in the Kinshasa area. The bonobos are hunted for bushmeat, and when a mother is killed, they are often taken and sold on the black market as pets. The sanctuary tries to recover as many as possible so that they can live out their lives in safety. One of the four great apes, bonobos have been relatively isolated until the 20th century. The sanctuary covers 30 hectares of forest and you can visit the several feeding stations that the staff use to help track the apes. The sanctuary also Named after the 3000 meter Mount Kahazi and the 2700 meter Mount Biga, this spectacular national park is located in the South Kivu province and stretches from the Congo River Basin to Bukovu. Biga are extinct volcanoes that now afford some incredible hiking. It was created in 1970 in order to protect the eastern lowland gorillas and just 10 years later was designated a UNESCO site. Gorilla poaching has been a problem for decades but thanks to the park authority, a dedicated education effort is ongoing. Today, the gorillas are still endangered, but their quality of life has improved and conditions are improving year each year. You'll find incredible biological diversity in the park like endemic plants, elephants, chimps, genet, antelope, and serval.
The skyline of Goma in the DRC is dominated by Naira Gongo. This unbelievable, 3,000 meter volcano list erupted in 2011, destroying up to 15% of the surrounding land and leaving over 120,000 homeless. Erupting 34 times in the last 130 years, Naira Gongo is located at the junction where the African tectonic plate is breaking. The landscape of Angoma is striking, with black solid, wide that the place looks like an above-ground coal mine. There is an active lava lake inside the crater which can sometimes be visited. The area has recovered nicely from the last blast and you'll find plenty of new shops and markets to discover. Located along the borders of Rwanda and Uganda, Virunga National Park is a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site. As the country's oldest national park, it's also the most biologically diverse. You'll find lava plains, savannas, forests, valleys, active volcanoes, swamps, and even glacier peaks in the Wanzaru Mountains. Roughly 25% of endangered mountain gorillas call the park home, and Virunga is the only park to have three of the four grey tapes in one place. The okopi, an endangered species that looks like a cross between a giraffe and a zebra, also make the park their home. You. Straddling the border between the DRC and Rwanda, Lake Kivu is the sixth largest lake in Africa. One of a series of freshwater lakes in the region, Lake Kivu offers lovely scenic drives between the her shores. From Siangugu to Jasani, the gently winding road affords breathtaking vistas as you easily make your way. Tins of banana and eucalyptus trees line the road and the locals wave as you pass by. Jiseni is the largest town that was once a colonial beach resort and so has some nice old mansions and great places to stop for a sunrise cocktail. This national park is filled with an ending grasslands and savannas. And these are filled with elephants, giraffes, hippos, black rhinos, and white rhinos. Garomba National Park is a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site and an amazing sanctuary for several endangered species. It's rare to see so many different classifications of large mammals sharing the same space and that makes a visit to the park an absolute must.
Salonga is both the DRC and Africa's largest tropical rainforest. In this UNESCO World Heritage Site, you'll find several endangered species, including the Congo peacock, dwarf chimpanzees, forest, the slender snouted crocodile. The park is quiet isolated and you must take a boat to reach it. This vital ecosystem is so large that it plays an important role in climate regulation for. This UNESCO World Heritage Reserve is unique for the large variety of primates and exotic birds that call it home. There are incredible opportunities for trekking to some even more incredible. Water falls within the reserve. The landscape along the Ipalu and the Ichiri rivers is simply stunning. Also calling the reserve home are the pygmy nomad tribes of the Efe and Nibiti hunters. It's a great place to see the endangered okoko about one-sixth of the entire population are found here. of remote locations and national parks. Mako is the DRC's most inaccessible national park. It is also the only park where you'll find all three of the country's endemic species. The peafowl and the grower gorilla. And don't forget chimpanzees, elephants, leopards and bongos. Though it's not well known or well visited, the forest represents an enormous carbon sink. Protection is globally important to addressing climate change. Within Mako's borders are the Simba Mai Mai people, who fled here in the 1960s seeking a kind of political asylum. Today, the government is working to resettle the roughly 700 inhabitants in order to protect the forest.
Located in Bos Congo, about 130 kilometers from the city of Kinshasa, the falls of Zonga represent Mother Earth at her best. If you're looking for a few days outside of the city, the falls are a great option. You can tent camp or rent a bungalow and explore the area for a couple of nights. Enjoy hiking and taking a cool dip below the falls. Once called Stanley Falls, Boyoma Falls is a long series of cataracts located along the Lualaba River. After an overall drop of 61 meters and at the end of the seventh cataracts, the river merge with the Congo River. The Wiganya fishing tribe live in the region and after generations of living along this unique river, they've developed special methods to catch fish. You'll see their wooden, wooden tripods in the rapids, resting in the natural holes formed in the rocks by the running water. The tripods hold baskets that serve as nets for the fishermen. A two-hour boat ride from the city of Bukovu will take you to Ijui, Alish Island of Green Mountains and incredible biodiversity. Ijui feels like an entirely different world within the Kizangani, formerly Stanleyville, is the third largest city in the DRC and lies completely within the tropical forest. The city's new name originates from the nearby Boyama waterfalls and means the city on the island. Kizangani has great shopping check out the Avenue de l'Eglise and fantastic local restaurants. It's also known for